This right here is gonna be a lot of fun. Hardcore sky block. So we got a chest right here, which we get our lava bucket, our piece of ice, sugarcane, sea pickle, glow berries, and obsidian. So we can actually get into the nether, which is pretty dope. Well, there really isn't <laughs> much to it right now than uh, we gotta make ourselves a cobblestone farm and we gotta get this tree taken down, but we also gotta expand the platform so we don't start losing stuff. Maybe we start off by grabbing a couple blocks extended right here so we can actually do the cobblestone farm itself and then around the tree we throw down a couple of blocks so we have the safety of mining this tree right here without having it fall down and then before i chop down the rest of the tree i'm gonna make a crafting table i'm gonna throw that down and make a couple of slabs to extend as much as i can to make sure that there is no blocks that can fall off the island and i was almost about to die right there that was a close one <laughs> already so that right there is going to be the last block. So I have to make sure I have enough to do sticks and also do the pickaxe itself. So I can do 12 more slabs without having any trouble. Potentially I can get sticks from the leaf, but that isn't guaranteed. So don't want to take that risk completely. All except these right here. Let's just chop down this tree and let's see if we can hopefully get a sapling. Oh, there's another one. Okay, cool. So then while we wait for that tree to drop down, we can first off throw down our water and as well as that throw down our lava right here there is our cobblestone farm we can then make ourselves some sticks and take the rest of this log and quickly make ourselves a wooden pickaxe i like how so many of the stones in here just burn bro the first two ones i didn't even get not exactly sure what that was all about but it took a little bit of damage all right some sticks has fallen down that is cool but i'm not <laughs> seeing any saplings yo that is bs really oh a sapling <laughs> that oh wow bro that would have been absolutely just so unfair if that didn't happen all right one sapling i am we need this one to give us two the next time man i'm still not feeling comfortable with that <laughs> Okay, y'all are scaring me off the get-go. Anyways, I feel like step number one is for us to just throw down this sugar cane right here so we can actually start growing that since why not? As well as that, I have four sticks so I'll make myself a stone hoe and I'll make myself an pickaxe as well so that we can just plant these down and start growing a little bit of food which is always nice i think doing this makes it so less cobblestone burn i'm not actually sure if this is true or not but i believe that this seems to make it so that less cobblestone burn which is obviously something that i really really want to happen i think if i do this right here and maybe that it kind of helps as well. I'm not sure. I'm trying to test things out to make this better. Because a lot of stuff is burning, which is extremely annoying. This seems to be much better though. And we got a couple stone collector achievement. Cool. That means we've collected our first full stack. There's definitely still a couple of them that burn. But it seems like it l is less than it was before. Which is cool. Okay, our pickaxe is broken. We got two stacks of couple plus eight. Eight. I'm gonna create myself two new pickaxes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a couple of slaps that I will go out like one two matter of fact since I'm not able to actually spawn proof stuff right now I'll do it on the odd layer so it's spawn proof honestly it doesn't even need to be all that much Around here seems like a solid place to do it. So what I need to do is I need to place a block. Can I get that to work? There it is. I will then extend out right here to a three where I'm gonna just throw down a couple of slaps in the middle at blocks on each side. Actually, I'm gonna stick by it having to be, okay. <laughs> you will see what I mean in a second, lost that. But we got it right here, so if I can just throw down a couple more slabs to extend the area out here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab my water. Couple more slabs to extend the area right here. Then what I wanna do is I wanna take this 22 blocks up. One, okay, we, we don't even need to count because I've already placed them out like that, which is <laughs> way smarter. I like that. Gotta be smart about it. Okay, and then I can just throw the water down so I can make myself an easy trip down with no issues. And if I just make a circle around up here, 
pretty simple. We got our basic little start for the mob farm. Then now, since we are so very, very, very broken on everything in terms of the stuff that we need we gotta be really smart and careful about how we do this because we can't even li light this up which we probably should have thought about before doing this but now it's too late but if i do two three i, th I think i'm adding a fourth layer around here and then i just go and build the walls on the outside and it's also getting daytime so nothing is gonna spawn here if i do make a trip down which i'm gonna do as soon as this tree has grown so basically i'm each side right here, I'm gonna go out by four. Then after the fourth, that's when I'm gonna be adding the wall. And I'm being very careful with each and every single placement since I wanna save my blocks. I could have actually, could I have done the floor out of slabs? I'm gonna do the roof, but I'm actually not certain if the slabs on the floor is a good or bad. The roof, I'll do the slabs to make sure. That, that, that I know for a fact. Four, boom, 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 boom. There, there. That is now basically each platform to the side that's needed for this build right here so all i gotta do now at this point is kind of just fill in the floor but oh, i'm so broken on materials unfortunately but it's getting in the right direction this is what i like to see just take a water bottle down and i suppose we can just spend a little bit more time on the farm right here and then go up back up back i'm gonna say that we are probably gonna need at least like what five stacks or something like that I'm trying to make it, at, I'm basically going to make the farm very, very small so that it's just, just working. Like, <laughs> I just want a couple mobs to fall down. As soon as a couple of skeletons is falling down and I can get bone meal, it's literally going to pace us, like, by a thousand percent easily. Like, the main reason I'm doing it is just to try and get some bone meal. Before we go any further, let's actually be really smart and drop our water bucket right here and then take a little trip down under the island. And we just throw down a couple pieces right there. Grab this right here. And now we can go under easily, chop out everything like that, get a bunch more dirt. Make sure we lose nothing in the process. And if we just do a couple more, we should be good. And so now whenever we need a bunch of dirt, we can just go down there. But for now, we don't really need it. Okay, a little over five stacks should do it. The tree still hasn't grown, which is obviously just awesome. It's because maybe it's too close to the block. I have no idea. Pop that right there. There's a spider up there, so <laughs> smart play of me, of course. Nah, it's no worry, though. It, it isn't, because it's not going to actually attack me since it's daytime. I will make an axe because I do feel like I'm going to feel a little bit more safe having an axe. Let's grab our water and let's make our way back up here to complete the actual farm. The plan I was thinking about earlier has definitely gone a little off the rails because this was not exactly what I wanted to do right here. I was supposed to make this smaller but ended up just, <laughs> I don't know exactly what I did. But what I gotta do now is this right here for a part later on. So if I fill out all of these sides just like this right here... This is where I'll add in my water for later on. Something that's very cool about this skyblock right here is there's islands all around this island right here with different biomes. So we can go to those different biomes and actually gain some materials that we're going to need. Uh, and there's also an island out there that has water. So if I can manage to get out to that island, which I should probably have done already, and just go out there and get that bucket of water, I then have an infinite water source, which is going to be really cool to have. But for now, my next step is to do the sides right here because these are going to be the spawning platforms at some point later on. So in reality, what I was supposed to do is I was actually supposed to make this one block bigger so it's a three in the middle. But I'm going to do it a little different so I have three on the sides and I have four in the middle. But this right here is going to work completely fine. This is a uh, mob form that I've started to build a lot because I actually think it's a really cool mob form. Usually... I do it a little bit different than this, but sometimes I also just kind of want to do my own little thing and not do exactly what all the YouTube tutorials say. Because, you know, it's also pretty cool to actually do your own thing just every now and then at least. What we gotta do now is we gotta get back down because we have ran out of stone. I don't even know how to put myself as a person into words, but as unsmart as I am, I have spent way more than was meant to be spent. <laughs> Our first piece of wheat has grown, which is absolutely great to see so we can plant another one down this one is probably going to be ready in no time the tree is not growing is it because i've placed all of these around here and it's messing up it's 
It shouldn't be. I just think it's being annoying, maybe. So the issue for now is that for the farm that I'm making is that I need a bunch of trapdoors to place around the platforms on the side, which I do not have right now because the tree is not growing. So we gotta go a little bit different with that. So we just kind of, we're gonna change that up a little bit to do something else since that's just not gonna be working right now. If I do my render distance all the way up to the top, you can see, oh, there's, there's lagging, lagging. But you can see there is islands around on the outside right here. There's even a, oh, there's even a pillager outpost, yeah. But we got a bunch of different islands out here, which is really freaking cool. The one that I need is this one over here. That one has the water, which is something that we really badly need, of course. So I think my next object now is I want to get a couple of stacks of stone, turn those into slabs and make my way over there. Our next piece of wheat has also grown, which gave us a couple more seeds. So we are just going to keep on rolling with this. I've also thrown my sugarcane in this chest right here because I am taking the water and I realized if I do actually leave the sugarcane around, they're going to disappear. So for now, we're going to just have them in there and not actually remove them. So at this point, we have a little over a stack of cobble, which is actually going to be a decent amount of slabs. Let's do one more so we can get the last piece right there. So we have almost two and a half stacks of slabs, which I'm hoping is going to be enough to get our bum bums all the way over there. I'm going to place it on this level right here, since this will then mean that this is all spawn proof. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay, yeah, I need a couple more. Also, before we make any more bad decisions, let's actually make sure we make another stone pickaxe should we run out of this one right here, because we're going to run out of it. And I was about to say, and this awful tree does not want to grow, but it just grew. <laughs> but it literally, it just grew. So that is absolutely epic, and I believe that everything should be rather safe here. I'm actually liking the idea of expanding the platform just a little bit more. A little expansion like this does make me feel like nothing is actually gonna fall out to the side. And we got some sticks right there. Normally you do just don't care for the sticks that you get from trees, but right now I will genuinely take him because it saves me wood. Two saplings and seven sticks makes me feel much greater about everything right now. I should have thought a lot more about this farm before I actually build it since when it is nighttime things is gonna spawn up there. I've definitely made a mistake on that one. Let's just hope it doesn't cost me dearly. And we now have an infinite water source. So for now, while we have this nighttime, I think I'm going to just spend the time getting a bunch more cobblestone. And then as soon as it hits daytime, we can make our way back inside there. Oh, I don't like the fact that there's creepers and stuff up there. But as soon as it gets daytime, we can make our way back up there very slowly. Because <laughs> this it, 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 it ain't good, man. I've really messed it up with, it, with doing that. Let's grab this piece of water right here, and we now have an infinite water source. I will grab our crafting table. We can also place down the sugarcane again, since now they will not be despawning. And now we gotta make our way back up to the tower. I am a little scared. Oh, there's a, uh, there's an enderman. Catch you later. <laughs> See ya, brother. Hoping nothing has spawned up here. If anything has spawned, I will actually be screwed. I'm hearing a spider, which is obviously not cool. If I'm seeing anything else, I will make it cool. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Get me in here. Pop that. So the skeleton has survived. <laughs> oh no, because I've done the blo- Oh, I'm such an idiot. I've done the blo- Oh. <laughs> I am such a dummy. You key. I have an idea which might not be smart at all, but we gotta try and test it out. <laughs> I see no way around it. If anything is up here now. Okay, nothing is here. Oh, the skeleton is- there. Okay. <laughs> this is not good. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I do not know what to do because I will die. 
Oh, this is nerf ranking, bro. I can take like one shot, that's it. Making slowly but surely a little bit of progress right here. The only way around this I see is to just mine these up and have him burn. It means I need to make a new pickaxe and I gotta do this quickly because it is... It's getting night time, which means that he will not be burning. <sighs> can I... Oh, he's burning. He's dead. I need this spider dead as well. Oh, th th I didn't like that. <laughs> I did not like doing that, but I had to do it. That had to be done. So everything is definitely not going how I want it to go, but we're alive. So I don't know how, but barely. So here's what needs to be done. We need to clear out a little bit more of all of this to actually finish off the farm itself. Okay, with that place, these are the platforms that I want. I actually want one in the middle as well, but like this. This is the platforms that I want. Now, obviously I am very, very broken on wood and I only have a couple of trapdoors. So I'm gonna try and do the most I can with the stuff that I have right now. And I can, I'll just have to come back and finish up. That was very stupid. <laughs> that was very, very, very unsmart. So here is what's needed to be done right now. I need four fence gates. <laughs> aka every single piece of wood that i have gotta open these and then with the beauty of our infinite water source we can go to each corner inside this room right here and place the water so now that when things drop down they will then flood in thingling down here you know exactly what i mean I'm not explaining it well but you know what i mean i'll then have to just fill all of this out then get up here, grab that, and this area down here is now complete. I still have to do the pillars all the way up, but again, I just don't have the materials for it, I don't think. Then I'll just have to do a two-layer wall all the way around. So now the only issue is that I needed to place trapdoors inside here so that they will actually walk out and fall into the water. But now since I don't have a single trapdoor, that will not be happening. And of course, none of my trees have grown, because why would they? I could make a trip to this island right here and grab trees from there. That does seem like an idea since everything is being very stubborn. If I keep this right here open, then when I come back and anything has spawned, it shouldn't be an issue because the creepers cannot reach me from here, the spiders will not be aggressive, and skeletons and zombies will have died. So if I place down my water right here, I can make an easy trip down. No issues. Taking a look at my crops, which nothing has grown, of course, because why would it? For my own safety, I will make sure that this right here is completed. Two trees have grown, which is absolutely perfect. That means I don't actually have to go over to the other island to get wood for the trapdoors. What it does mean, though, is that I gotta extend my platform a little bit so we don't have everything falling out to the side when the saplings drop. Then hopefully with these trees, we can get a handful of saplings for once. I will take all the wood and turn all of it into trapdoors. Ooh, an apple. Alrighty. Yes, sir. <laughs> I will actually take it because I'm basically out here dying. 12 trapdoors is a decent amount. Is it perfect? No. Will I work with it? Yes. Three saplings already uh, in plus. Okay, that's nice. Four saplings is not bad at all. We can just throw one on each corner right here and get these beauties growing. Then what I want to do is... Ooh, yeah, I want to do that. We still can't get full hunger, so I won't eat anything yet, but soon. I'll need a little bit more slabs to actually fill in the roof itself and make the farm work. So let's get like three stacks of cobblestone and complete this farm. Let's make a sword. So the farm is working even though it's nowhere near actually completed or anything. But since it is nighttime, things are spawning up there. Which means that we can get ourselves a couple of well things right now so let's just chop these guys down as safe as we can possibly be all right so we have an issue right here where we cannot properly reach these things inside that's definitely an issue question is if i do slaps on the back side does that potentially push things forward that actually was like no it's not really <laughs> not really okay well there's a quick fix to that 
It's just that I just go around here so I can actually grab things from the sides as well. But we are on a layer that is not the right layer for me to do anything on that's too risky. If I do this right here and throw a st something like that, I can then potentially grab things from the side. And if I do the same over here, I can then remove this block and now I should be able to go around grabbing if there's anything that I need. We've gotten five bones, which means 15 bone meal. I was about to say, why is that tree not growing? <laughs> why would that not grow? Is that an apple? I think that was an apple. That is two apples and four pieces of wheat. Yeah, I really needed to turn daytime so I can go up there and actually close off the farm. But if I eat these two apples right here, see how much that gives me. That gives me a very good amount of hunger. I then pop this one in here, eat the bread. I then need half, one and a half hunger left. So if I can either get one more apple or I could actually use some bone meal on the wheat to get two more pieces. But that doesn't even, all right, there's an apple right there. Cool. That does give me a bit more hunger, which absolutely makes me feel much better about everything. Oh, dang it, that's a massive tree. I believe I just heard some skeletons drop down here. Ooh, there's a bone, there's a bone. Thank you for that. Now nine bone meal. So it is basically daytime by this point right here, which means I'm gonna make my way up there. Because if there's skeletons or anything up there, they should have burned and I have everything that I need I'm gonna just make a bunch of slaps while I'm down here so I don't have to do it while I'm up there I'm not actually sure how many I'll need so I'll do a whole bunch and we'll take the crafting table with us for safety should we trip out to the side let's see any danger well not really see the thing is I really really want to kill the spiders because that could give me string which could then equal a bed. What I'll start off with is do this right here. So we just do all of these all the way around. I'm gonna actually risk it with the spiders. I got a good amount of health again, so that is... I, sh I should be good. Yeah, nice. Let's see if we can get this guy to maybe... If he can just attack me. Nice, okay, no issues right there. Oh, unfortunately, only two pieces of string, but that's better than nothing. A little bit more bone meal is absolutely welcomed. Let's actually throw down our crafting table, get all of this right here, and how many more trap doors would we need to finish this area off? So we do four more on the sides right here, and then all the way around to these sides as well. Oh yeah, I'll actually need a bunch. As many as I can create, I will do definitely do since it's an investment because you're gonna get quick quick bone meal from just using all these yeah unfortunately i can't do it i would have needed six more trap doors but we have this one right here so these are just gonna walk out here i think as soon as i put this roof on i, I, I might never actually go back in here just due to safety so we can always just in the future should we really decide that it's that important we could come back or we could do something even cooler let's do that Let's do that. Let's bone meal this beauty. Talk about me not being like the smartest guy you've met in your entire life, man. Right? Right? Please tell me that. How much did I say I needed? Was it like six? So it's basically exactly that. Ha 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 ha! Hey! Talk about being smart, man. Yeah, you know, that's me. Kinda. Not really. Alright, whatever. That tree was definitely not trying to give me much, man. That's alright then. You do what you gotta do, I guess. Then basically what we gotta do is we just gotta fill this in. That's all we gotta do right now. We just gotta grab all of this. I'm gonna actually slap all the sides as well since if we don't do that, the sides are not gonna be spawn proof. That's a small little detail that you know you could quickly forget but it's actually quite important. There's one issue with the building I'm doing right now. That's spiders. Spiders are not gonna be able to fall down 
at all. So you know what? I will actually change up a little bit of what I've just built. I will completely remove that since I actually want spiders to fall down and that's definitely the way to go about it. That was that was a good realization. Issue with some of these mob farms like this right here is the fact that spiders can get stuck and if too many spiders get inside there the efficiency of the actual farm itself rindles down like a crazy amount. There's a really easy fix to that and that's also one of the main reasons why having this platform out to the side right there is actually really really good every single mob that's inside here like all the spiders that's just sitting in the corner not wanting to get down they will then despawn and they will kind of like reset so that is a really really good thing but to do the sides <laughs> Gotta remember to do that. Loving how I'm just like literally skipping right past it since I just talked about it. Then with these last couple of blocks just like this, the farm should, in theory, work. I'm gonna keep this water block down here so I can make my way back up to the roof because I'm for certain wanna expend on the farm. And like I wanna just build it taller and stuff. That's absolutely for sure a thing that I want. And I don't think this farm is gonna work too well at the moment right now. It's still a very early game farm, but I think for the pace we are rocking at right now, this is very nice. All right, that's our first skeleton. So the farm is working because there was no skeleton up there before. Our trees are starting to grow as well. So I think that now the only real things that I should be doing is I should just expand a little bit on this platform. I shouldn't have done it at this layer. I should have done it at the odd layer so this all spawn proof, but I can just throw down some torches. But yeah, if I can just start gathering a good amount of materials, I think we can build our first starter house. Right now I'm trying to chase a little bit of iron from this farm right here. I've already gotten two iron ingots, so it's definitely coming slowly but surely. It does take a while, like every now and then you get that one piece of iron, which is super cool. I've also gotten this zombie villager right here, which I'm going to turn into a villager. And I'm actually trying to plan on doing that almost right away. We went over to one of the islands to get this spruce wood and a pumpkin. Oh my god, we have another. Okay, 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 okay. This is actually... Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> this is actually huge. Hold up, wait a minute. I have a whole bunch of stone over here. I've been going crazy, man. I've been really trying to get as much stuff as I possibly can get. Where is my pickaxe? Open right here. Let's block this area off and let's get another... Oh, this is cool. Epic, epic, epic. This is just what I need. All right, let's get this beautiful guy out here. Place down the boat, trap him inside. And <laughs> now I'm going to expand the platform. So I'm making sure that he doesn't punch me over the edge because... You never know, man. I'm telling you right now. I know myself and that is something that could absolutely happen. And the farm is back to itself and I can go absolutely ham on these guys right here. Oh, this is... A couple things that we gotta do right now is first off, let's make ourselves a bed because we got so much string. Wait, where's all my string at? Wait, I know I have a bunch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I know for a fact I have a whole bunch buttons of string okay that's three pieces of wool and now we got ourselves our first bed which i'm gonna oh yeah of course i can't risk when the monster's nearby i'm gonna sleep even though it's basically night time but that should probably clear the rain thank you there's nothing more annoying than rain man it is just i hate looking at that oh the string this is good it's just pretty freaking good Still got 17 pieces of string, which means we can actually make more bits, which is gonna come in extremely handy as soon as we can turn these into actual zombie villagers. No, <laughs> villagers. What am I on about? <laughs> Something I would love to do as well is actually put these pumpkin seeds down so we can start getting some pumpkins because I'm actually pretty certain that as soon as we get one of these guys to become a... Uh, a farmer villager, he should probably trade pumpkins. A lot of times they do when they trade like one pumpkin for an emerald if you free them from uh, from the zombie villager state. So that's always a really good trade. So we can just have these go crazy and we can actually do maybe a decent sized pumpkin farm. I think that could be a way to get very easy emeralds. There is a very specific reason as to why I'm really trying to get one more piece of iron. But what we can start off with at this moment right now is not that. We can start off by grabbing all of our obsidian. For now, I'm just going to build myself a temporary portal. Because at some point later on, I will remove it to the island I'm going to build over here. Which you, you just wait to see this build idea that I have. I think it's actually going to be f absolutely epic. So for now, this will have to do. All we got to do is just throw down some wood right here. Add a little platform and go and grab our lava. I was building a 
cobblestone generator, but it doesn't actually work yet. I need hoppers before it works, because if I just do it like this now, they literally just burn right away. You get like not a single piece, so unfortunately that wasn't that. I thought it might actually be better, but that, yeah, that wasn't that. That's already grown. That is, all right, that's actually pretty freaking quick. And that gives us four more seeds. We got, a, we got a solid amount of dirt at the moment right now, so I think there is no reason not to just use that. Question, if I use this right here, do will they still just go out to the cobblestone itself? That's actually something I'm quite uncertain about. I don't know if they need a piece of dirt out there or if they actually can just go out there, no issue. I guess we'll test it out, but for now I'm just gonna stick with the dirt because I know for a fact that works. And we keep on working on this farm right here in hopes of getting that one more piece of iron. If it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. There's plenty other ways I can do what I want to do, but it's just... If I could just get that, it would like speed up things a bit. I also definitely gotta place down these spruce saplings so I can just do massive spruce trees. Shouldn't this burn it? I feel like it's gonna burn it, right? I think so. Okay, there it is. I was waiting, man. Just, just taking its time. But that burns now, which hopefully is gonna spread to these. And within a couple of seconds, nothing happens. Do I need to do slaps? Is it slaps I do up there, actually? I guess potentially it might be... Uh, no, it should be just... No? Okay. Not really sure what that was about. Is it slaps over there? It might actually be slaps. I'll try to do slaps. I can't remember it, honestly. Throw down a slap. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, worked. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was because of the slap or not, but we got it. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I don't really care if it works or, not, or like whatever happens. As long as it works, that's all I'm here for. Okay, we now have our nether portal, which is actually really cool. Fortunately, I'm having no luck getting the iron ingot. Anyways, let's make ourselves a little jump into the nether itself. And I have a couple things that I think you guys are going to be interested in seeing inside there. Because there's a whole bunch of things that can be done inside there. It should unlock a amount of things for us. Okay, so let's slowly but surely just make our way around. This right here is why I want the... Uh, iron pickaxe you cannot use stone it will just break and you won't get it but as you can see over there we got a nether fortress which is really cool if i just extend a bit out blazes and withers and all sorts of things are going to spawn i gotta be smart and remember that if i do not place a solid roof gas will spawn as well so that's a really quick tip that you should all remember got a little island over there an island over there and an island over there and cops are outside Hopefully they're not coming for me. And basically, I believe that's everything inside here. I just tried to pull up the render distance a bit more, but seems to be nothing there. So, I want to make my way over there to try and get a couple of blaze rods. Because if I can get blaze rods, I can also get nether wart from inside there. I can then make the potion of weakness to cure the zombies. And by that, I also, of course, are going to need the gold right here. So it's going to be pretty simple. I don't have to do all the witch things, which is the worst thing ever. Like, doing the witch thing... I absolutely despise it is just <laughs> why did it not connect properly but it is the absolute worst thing it's so annoying to do there's such a big risk of dying and it's just not a great thing doing it this way is gonna be a lot smarter all I need is just one more piece of iron any zombie man it's just one zombie and I'll be good now I can also make a gold farm inside the nether itself which is something that I absolutely are gonna do like don't even worry that for a second that's something that i very much so want to do but it's just it's gonna take a little time building it and a lot of materials and if i can just get that one piece of iron i can then in the meantime just get these villagers cured and we can work from there of course all the random armor we can get we can just smelt down just throw in a bow and then throw in like these gold boots and stuff like that and we got ourselves a couple of uh of ingots at least it's better than nothing or nuggets not ingots nuggets I wish it was ingots. And I guess now I don't have to go through all these nights right there. I can just take a nap, which is perfect. I think that I want to go inside the nether, build myself a platform over to the actual nether fortress itself, do a little bit of an area where I can take out a couple of places, because at least by then, that step is then done, and we can also get the nether wards to be able to actually do the weakness potions themselves for these guys. And about five minutes later, we have our third piece of iron. So let's make ourselves a iron pickaxe 
And now, for the people that's gonna say like, Oh, you're so not dumb, like you've made an iron shovel. This was from the farm itself, so no, I actually didn't create it myself. Just pointing that out, because that would have been very stupid. I'll agree with that, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I did not do that. I was just lucky enough to get it from the farm, but I don't know how lucky it is. It's just an iron shovel, but still. So let's make ourselves a beautiful little trip inside the nether. Let's get around right here and get up to these beautiful gold blocks, which we should be able to take. No worries. That's one. And that is number two. This is my number two. His name? Number two. Two. If some of you guys haven't seen Austin Powers, like, do yourself a favor. <laughs> do yourself a favor, man. Okay, now what I want to do right here is I want to make sure I build it on the odd layer so that it's actually spawn proof. Okay, so let's get inside right here. So also, yeah, we can now fight the Ender Dragon should we want to. Do we want to? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, man. I am more than good, at least for now, of course. If we go down right here, yes, there is nether wards. I was very confident that that was the fact right here so if we just grab all of this we can use our beautiful iron shovel all i want to do is i want to find the odd layer okay i'm on the odd layer right now which is really good i want that since that is where they cannot spawn at if i build a little platform out it does not need to be big at all i think just about right here basically this is just for my own safety so that i won't accidentally fall off or anything like that while fighting these guys the importance of this roof is due to gas i want to make sure that there is not a single gas that's going to be able to spawn around here and if i don't have a roof i believe they are able to then all we have to do is we just have to run a little bit back. Okay, so apparently ghasts can spawn. What is that about? That's an issue. All right, I gotta get over there quick. That should not be the case. All right, I figured it out. I've put this on the wrong layer. This should have been one higher. Well, <laughs> at least we avoided that pretty easily. And a Tons of stuff has spawned over here. Couple of areas that of course I have not completely spawn proof, so that is something that I gotta make sure of. I can just kill this guy easily. Cool, I'll even take the nugget as well. But I can now just easily take these guys out, no issue, and get hopefully all that I'll need. One guy left, let's just risk it. There it is, nice. And I got three blaze rods, which is all I need, so I'm gonna block this farm off. I think there's actually a guy right here, so... Let's take him out, actually. Okay, that brings us to four, which is perfect. Okay, that's all I need for now. I even got a couple pieces of coal as well, which is something that I'll actually take. So now we just gotta make a brewing stand, which we can just throw down right here. Then now, of course, yeah, we do need the water bottles. I think if you ask me, my best bet is honestly just to go over there, even though it's pretty annoying how far you have to go, but I think it might be the best method you know what that's good because i also need to go to this island right here because i also need a mushroom which i forgot about so i need to go to this island and this island so we can make the potion of weakness mushrooms obtained and we're gonna grab them all now to go all the way over there all of my beautiful cobblestone that i've actually spent way too long getting since it takes forever to get stuff right now is all gone but no 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 oh i did that Ooh, yo, 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 I did that. Oh, damn, that was... <laughs> God damn it. I legitimately have to run all the way back to get a bucket, don't I? You know, sometimes I wonder if I like to punish myself because obviously that was going to happen. It's not like I didn't know that was going to happen. It's just like in those type of moments, for some reason, you just don't think about it. You just, I don't know why you don't think about stuff like that. Like you should. It's so obvious. But for some reason, my brain potentially is just that small that it just doesn't occur to me. How wild is that? Pop down the lava. Let's grab some water. And I'm even kind of forced to actually get a whole bunch of food before I move on. Since I'm not even going to be able to make that long run with the... <laughs> Oh, this is getting out of hand, man. All right, I think that should do it. <laughs> and there goes it all. All right. 20 pieces of sand. Still cool. Still very cool, man. But <laughs> we could have had even more. So then we need our spider eye. We need one mushroom and a piece of sugar. Great, just like that. And like so, we have our fermented spider eye. Then we got to smelt down three pieces of sand. 
Bows are fuel. We gotta remember that. Bows are fuel. And you get a whole bunch of them from the farm, so why not utilize it, right? And with that, we have our three glass bottles. Fill those up with water, throw them all inside. We gotta grab our blaze rods and turn that into blaze powder. Let's throw that in. Then unless I am completely out of it, you put in nether wart first off. Then we put the fermented spider eye and then we gotta get a piece of gunpowder in there to make it a splash potion as well. Interesting question, do I even have enough apples? Because I have one in my inventory. No, <laughs> I do not have enough apples. Alright, as I guess, suppose that's good we noticed that. Thank god for bone meal, man. <laughs> I don't know what this game would be without it, honestly. Probably be quite horrible. One apple, that is all I'm asking for. All right, I believe I have been a dum-dum. I actually believe that I have been that. I think it's just water, actually. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. I, did, I actually did not know that. And there's an apple. Let's go. I genuinely didn't actually know that was the case. Potion of weakness. Nice. Then we got to throw in our two gold blocks right there. Two apples in the middle. And just like that, we have two golden apples. Then we grab a splash potion of weakness, and I believe that with this right here, I should be able to hit both villagers. Plus myself. <laughs> and there it is. Five minutes, and we got zombie villagers. No, bro, what am I saying? Five minutes, and we got villagers. Also, I'm pretty certain that they will not grow on this right here, so... At least we tested it out, man, and now we know from now. Oh, bro! Good thing these guys are gone. That was half a heart. Are you shit? <laughs> Stop it, brother. You need to calm the F down. I'm telling you right now, man. That ain't okay. Clapping my butt cheeks is unacceptable. You know what? I'll put on these boots right here. Guess it's gonna help me a little bit. So now it's time for us to make a couple of decisions. What type of villagers do we want? Also, I think something that I want to do is that every single time I actually get a villager from here, I'm going to take them out because got easy way to make uh, splash potions now. And as soon as we can get a librarian, we can buy glass from that guy so we don't have to spend our sand on bottles. Also, by trading with a piglin in the nether, we can also get bottles. So basically, there's a bunch of way to get bottles. I just kind of felt that for this first one right here, it was necessary. But for the rest of it, it's genuinely not. So we'll keep the same right here for no reason, but I still want to keep it. And there it is, the cure, the zombie doctor. Any day now, Brody, any day now. Also have four spruce saplings now, which means I can do massive trees and get an insane amount of sticks easily, which is making me think I probably actually just want to make one of the guys a Fletcher. But before I can do that, I need to go to the nether and I need to find a zombie piglin that will throw me gravel. Because from the looks of this right here, none of the islands have gravel. But the zombie piglins do. Ooh, there's actually another one. There's another one. Interesting. I, I like it. I like it, like it, like it. And there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna sail away with these villages right here so that we can get the other guy out without, you know, having him actually hit these guys. Fortunately, I'm not gonna be able to actually turn him yet. But at least we have him. That's the main thing. Ooh, and a potato as well. That is new food. Cool. Plus, I suppose a um, a farmer will more than likely trade potatoes as well. I have both villagers trapped in here. I decided to make one cleric and another one a farmer. So all I need is a few pieces of wheat to lock in his trades. And then I just need some rotten fliss, which I've already got. And now we have our first emerald. I did break the brewing stand and wasted some blaze rod. But it's not like we're not going to be able to get a bun. So she's... You know, it is what it is. And with all this wheat, we can then as well also lock in the trade for this villager. I want to level him up and see if he hopefully does take pumpkins. And all of the rotten flesh that I have laying around in my chest is now gonna become very useful. And just like that, we have nine emeralds. And he even takes one gold ingot. That's a good trade. That's actually a really good trade because I'll just make an epic gold farm and it will be good. I can't even imagine how good this farm would be if I actually made like a quote unquote good farm because this is like a sloppy bad farm that's just... Yeah, I'm surprised that it's even this good. It's like a no effort farm. A lot of days have passed at this point right here. We've gotten a bunch of villages now and also iron golems. I've been spending a good amount of time killing a couple of iron golems which have given me a decent amount of iron so I can get hoppers here and also hoppers 
inside here. I've even managed to get myself a diamond pickaxe, which is super nice for me to get a bunch of materials. The farm has gotten very OP. I've done a couple of things outside the format. Instead of having the farm have the ability to actually spawn a bunch of spiders, I've used carpet so that and not all that many spiders can actually spawn up there just because it makes the farm more efficient and I don't have to go up, get inside, kill a bunch of spiders and go down. But I can do that every now and then. And if I feel like I start to really need more beds and stuff like that, I can always just remove the carpet so I can actually get spiders to spawn again because it is nice sometimes to actually have the spider spawn so I can get that string and actually make beds. But for now, I got plenty of villagers i got a good amount of bits i got basically all that i need i got this guy right here who now assigns me diamond pickaxe shovels and an axe and i've gotten all of them except the shovel axe the shovel is the only thing that i haven't gotten yet and we got this guy right here which is just super good trades and all of them have some really solid trades and i haven't even i've only done three no four of the guys that has trades now so i can still have a bunch more to put trades on them which is super cool I've tried to make a little platform outside here. I don't know if there's any chance of any villagers spawning out. I went around to some of the islands to try and grab some of the dirt that I could place it out there and see if anything happens. I really want a wandering trader to spawn, but seems like it won't happen. But again, maybe it will. I can probably extend it at some point. But what I think I will do for now is I'll end off this first episode right here. Next episode, I want to do just one episode where we completely just focus on building a epic epic gold farm i think that would be really cool so maybe it could be like a little bit of a shorter episode instead of these like 40 minutes to an hour videos <laughs> which i've been going really crazy man but yeah i think next episode we'll do a massive freaking farm inside the nether i think that could be really freaking cool and just go absolutely crazy with that we'll need gold for a bunch of stuff as well plus it's an epic trade with this guy right here which takes one gold ingot for emeralds as well so the more gold the better honestly so i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode hit that like button hit that subscribe button and next episode we're gonna build the most insane gold farm